Hello, my beautiful souls. Okay, so this is trulydivine.com. I want to share this with you. New year, new you. It's 2021. Okay, I have an awesome deal for you guys. When you use my code ZEN30, you will get 30% off anything that you purchase from the site. We have here natal birth chart analysis with astrology and numerology, relationship analysis with astrology and numerology. We also have the solar return forecast relocation analysis. And then when you click here, you see they have free healing and wellness guides. Also tons of articles here that you can further look into. Okay, let's see, going beyond your horoscope. It's a really great site. I had my chart done with them and it's amazing. Okay, so it's 2021. There's a lot going on. You're going to want to know what the heck is going on. So make sure you check it out. Trulydivine.com, code ZEN30 for 30% off. Mwah. Peace and love. Hello everyone and welcome to my channel Zen Within Me. Okay, today's reading is going to be for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising and we're going to get you messages from your guides, guardians, ancestors, angels, and ancient gods. All right, so let's get into it, my darlings. What do you need to know? What do they have to tell you? If you're looking for love readings, I already have them posted. You just have to look for your sign. I did them in advance for January, February, March 2021. Same thing with career and finance. Okay, so what do you need to know, Scorpio? What messages do we have for Scorpio? Ooh, la, 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 la. Okay, thank you. All right, so the first card is, ooh, love this for you guys. Ten of Pentacles. All right, so this is a firm foundation. This could be an inheritance, large inheritance, large sums of money, wealth, abundance, financial security. Okay, so for those of you that have had a money issue, it's coming. You're going to have a nice big, a nice big check. It might be a tax return. It could be that you're getting a lot of money um, if they ever decide to give us our money in the next stimulus check because it is our money, but I'm not going to rant about that. That's a whole other video. Uh, it's not theirs. It's ours, but they keep thinking it's theirs, whatever. Anyway, you're going to be getting a lot of money. Okay. Financial stability is a coming. All right. So hang in there. Okay. Then we also have the lovers here. So you might be dealing with a Gemini. Uh, this could also be a choice that you have to make, okay? This might be for some of you, if you're looking for love, this might be somebody that is coming into your life and you will have love and money, okay? So this might be somebody that's like, ooh la la, they're very wealthy, they're very well off and you're going to have a nice, um, a nice relationship that you're going to start with this person, okay? Oh, excuse me. Then we have the seven of pentacles here. So your hard work is paying off, you know, just be patient um, because you are going to be rewarded. This is definitely good news financially. And you might be uh, deciding like, okay, you, now it's time to evaluate how am I going to deal with this? You know, uh, this new relationship, you know, what's the next step or this money, you know, now I have to make a choice with all this money. For some of you, it could be like, okay, how am I going to pay the bills? I have to sit down and figure this out. Or you might be moving or whatever, whatever it is that you're going to do, starting a new business, whatever it is, you're going to have to do a lot of evaluating because now it's like your ship has come in, you're being rewarded, you're going to have this money, and then you have to start making decisions with it. You have to start making these choices as to how you're going to handle this, whether it's a new relationship or some this financial wealth that's coming in for you, this abundance, okay? Okay. All right. I love it. All right. So let's see. What other messages do we have for Scorpio? Okay. And I'm, I'm feeling very strongly that, that this is a good message for most of you because a lot of people, uh, it's been about finances, you know, and that's why I did uh, January, February, March 2021 predictions in advance for uh, career and finance because that's something a lot of people need to know. Okay, so we have here, oh, and the links are down below, my affiliate links for all the decks that I'm using in case you want to get the deck yourself. So the tarot here, this is the Gilded Tarot, and now this deck that I'm using is the Magic of You Oracle. Okay, so we have here, Sacrifice, what can you let go of? Okay, 
makes a lot of sense here with this reading because you have a choice here. So you may feel that you've sacrificed a lot of things or you have to sacrifice a couple of things and that's why a choice needs to be made here. So you have to really take that time to sit down and go, okay, what really needs to get done? Because you may have a nice um, amount of money that's coming in, but it may not cover everything. So that's when you now have to sit down and, and get to the nitty gritty of, okay, well, what's really necessary and what isn't, okay? Then we have doable. The key is within your grasp, okay? So it's doable. It is doable to do what you have to do here with this decision to, you know, make some sacrifices and stuff like that. If it's even, like I said, starting a new business, so it might be like, all right, let me pay some of my house bills and, you know, uh, let me put some money to the side to start a new business. It's, it's doable, but you may have to sacrifice some things, okay? So if you're used to going out all the time and overspending, if you're not like, oh, well, I want to put this money towards a house, okay, then you got to cut back on, you know, overspending, eating out, going out all the time, you know, these little things that adds up and you'd be surprised how much money you could save when you cut back on those things. So for those of you that that's relevant with, there you go. Okay. So now I'm going to go to the Living Reiki deck. Okay. These are the healing cards. So let's see, what messages do we have for Scorpio? What does Scorpio need to know at this time? Okay, what messages do we have for you from your guides, guardians, ancestors, angels, and ancient gods? Okay, for those of you that need some guidance and advice in the healing department, I just want to point out, look how cute these cards are. They just come with their own little case. You can just put them in here and they stand up and they're like, they're just so delightful. Okay, all right, so we have coming through for you patience just for today. I will let go of anger. Okay, so some of you have to work on your anger. You got to be more patient and be less angry day by day. Okay, consider your feelings. Recognizing and admitting to yourself that you feel angry is important because it means you are actually considering how you feel rather than just reacting as an autopilot. You were thinking through what is happening, not just letting rip with your first instinctive habitual response. Okay. A wise prayer. Old Irish prayer, author unknown. Take time to work. It is the price of success. Take time to meditate. It is the source of power. Take time to play. It is the secret of perpetual youth. Take time to read. It is the way to knowledge. Take time to be friendly. It is the road to happiness. Take time to laugh. It is the music of the soul. And take time to love and be loved. It is the path to joy and contentment. Beautiful. Okay, we also have being mindful. Okay, being mindful means staying in touch with everything that is going on with us on a physical, emotional, psychological, or spiritual level. The awareness you develop in your daily meditation practice can naturally expand to encompass your day so that you start to see and sense more beauty around you, like the way a smile lights up someone's face or the softness of rain against your skin or the scent of a favorite flower. All right, so be more mindful of the things around you. Okay, and we can try. Sometimes it's tough to try to understand someone else's motivation if he or she does or says something that hurts us or hurts those we love, but we can try it just for today. Okay, so if, if you're dealing with somebody, you know, um, in a situation here, just try, try if you can. Okay. All right. So let's see. Next, we're going to do the Starseed deck. Okay. All right. What messages do we have for Scorpio from the Star Seed deck? Okay. Whale and Orca elders, share your song, frequency of sound, diving deep. All right. So let me get the book for this. So many beautiful messages here. I want to make sure you get to soak it all up. Okay. All 
I know I'm close. I got these pages stuck together. Oh, here we go. Okay. Thank you for your patience. I feel like I should have played some doo 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 music while you waited. <laughs> okay, the whale and orca elders are benevolent cosmic beings here to anchor a frequency of love onto the planet, to harmonize it with their song. As they weave around the oceans, they do so much more than any of us know. Their physical presence affects Earth's magnetic field and their harmonics call us to wake up and remember our own soul's song. Looking into the eye of a whale is something you'll never forget. Whales see into your very being and in an instant you're changed forever. They see beyond the physical, the woundings, the identity, the personality, the story. They see right into your soul. If you pull this card, you're being called to surrender to your deepest truth and share it with potency. To bow to who you truly are. To stretch your heart wide enough to hold it all. To leave your fears, doubts, and baggage at the door. To question any part of you that doesn't feel good enough. Beautiful. Okay, now let's see which legendary lady is going to be protecting you, watching over you, and assisting you at this time. ladies i have um beyonce in my head all the single ladies so if that resonates with anybody there you go another message okay we have kuan yin here compassion okay so either you need to work on your compassion or you have some compassion coming your way okay now we're going to go to the herbiary deck and let's see what messages do we have for you scorpio have here for you clear the way white sage okay so you're definitely being told here you may need a cleansing okay clear the way now if you don't have sage you can get palo santo that's fine anything that you need to cleanse you can take a bath with some um, sea salt in it the pink himalayan salt regular salt would be fine as well um, but you need to you need to cleanse here okay and this is what's definitely coming through with this it's time to cleanse now i'm going to go and read the book it says page 36 i love that it has the page numbers here it just makes it so much easier to find especially when i'm going to be using it here in the readings okay all right so this says life can be sticky Members of the Sage clan have been used in a multitude of cultures for clearing the invisible wisps of energy that cling barnacle-like to people and places. Whether you think of those energies as your own spent emotions or the leftover emanations of someone else's, Sage can help you make your peace and move on. Sage is sacred because it clears the way, creating a blank canvas and an open path, allowing you the opportunity to reach your full potential. Sage Sage's appearance tells you that a block needs to be cleared, whether you can name it or not, so you can move forward. Okay, so like I said, it's time for a cleansing. You definitely need to be cleansed. Okay, now let's... Okay, so now we're going to go to my initials, traits, and features deck, and I'm going to be using the initials part. So we're going to see who are you dealing with. Pull some letters, see what spells out. You might be dealing with someone specifically, or this could be um, maybe you lost an item and you're looking to see where to find it. However, these letters resonate with you. So I'm not going to try to cover all the possibilities. I'm going to leave that up to you. So if you're looking for someone, use them as initials or the letters to describe your person, place, or thing. And if you're trying to find something, then... See how it makes sense to you. Okay, thank you. All right, so we have the letter Z. It can also be a location. F, R, and C. Okay, now if you have any timing issues, 
I'm going to clear my mind, ask your question, and I will pull some stones, and let's see what the guides give you for a response. So I have the number three, the number six, the number eight, and an email. Okay, so this could be the third, the sixth, or the eighth, or these may resemble months, uh, the third month, sixth month, eighth month, but you're going to be receiving some kind of email here. The numbers three, six, and eight are relevant, okay? All right, so those are your messages, Scorpio. Thank you so much for liking, sharing, watching, and subscribing. Make sure you click the notification bell and select all so you will be post uh, notified every time I post videos. Also, follow me on TikTok. I post daily there. And um, I have the affiliate links down below if you're interested in getting any of these cards and the timing stones. And, um, oh, you can follow me on Facebook as well. And um, Facebook, what I'm doing is I'm putting up... Uh, recommended products and stuff like that. So if you're interested in um, specific products that I recommend, then go and check out my Facebook, which is Zen Within Me. Everything is down below in the description box. Peace and love, guys. I also have Valentine's Day bundles going on with my products. So peace and love, stay safe, and I will see you in the next reading.